I love video games. You love video games. I mean, why else would you be here? Video games have been around for a while now and are more popular than ever before. When I was in grade school, I dreamed of video games. I loved reading about them and I had a list of upcoming games that I was looking forward to. And I know I'm not the only one. Welcome to my brand new series, Gaming History 101. Let's go on a journey together to learn and discover some of the biggest milestones in gaming history. My name is Sergio is here. Thanks for joining me, and if you like this series and want to see more, I kindly ask that you like and subscribe to this channel. It helps keep me motivated so I can share my knowledge and insight with you, and hopefully we can grow as an amazing community of game lovers, game players, and gaming historians. Very quickly though, before we get into the very first video game ever, I'd like to mention that us humans have been playing games for as long as we can remember. The ancient Mayans used to play a game where they kicked the ball around sort of like a precursor to what some would call football or soccer, depending on where you live, I guess. Board games like chess were developed in the 6th or 7th century. Card games started in China between the 9th and 14th century, and no, they didn't have Pokemon yet. That came much later. Oh, and that became a video game too. All right! The first game I ever played, Super Mario Brothers. It was the late 80s and I was hooked. The graphics, the music, the mushrooms, the princess. I loved it all. Duck Hunt was a game my whole family could get into. And it was nice that they both came on the same cartridge. But enough about me though. Let's kick off the series by talking about the very first video game ever and a few others that are just as influential. Do you know what it was called? The very first video game ever? Well, if you guessed Pong, I'm afraid you're wrong. However though, Pong was the first commercial mainstream game, but more on that later. So the first game ever was called Tic-Tac-Toe, or some called it X's and O's. It was 1952. You know, Elvis, hula hoop skirts, poodle skirts, poodle shoes, whatever you call them. At the University of Cambridge, a brainiac by the name of A.S. Douglas was diving into his PhD adventure. The school had the super snazzy EdSac vacuum tube computer, which was like the great great grandpa of today's laptops. Now this futuristic machine at the time rocked a cathode ray tube that showed off stuff from its mercury memory magic, 32 delay lines to be exact. Anyways, your grandfather's Casio watch is a lot faster than the old EdSac. Now, this screen was like a retro pixel party with a 35 by 16 pixel matrix. Think of it as the OG pixel art gallery. And A.S. Douglas was all like, why not jazz up my PhD with some human computer chit chat? But here's a twist. You could only play against the machine. It used secret tricks to win whenever it could. Yep, that's right. And an AI before AI was cool. Fast forward to today and you can still have a blast with this vintage game. All you have to do is fire up the EdSac simulator that you can find online and boom, you're time traveling back to the 1950s. Okay, the next super important game that we need to talk about is called Tennis for Two. Picture yourself, it's 1958 and William Higginbottom, a physicist with a knack for fun, had an itch to create something mind-blowing. And boy did he deliver. Enter Tennis for Two, the granddaddy of video games. Now, I know what you're thinking. Video games in the 1950s? You bet your bobby socks. Higginbottom cooked up a game that was so groundbreaking, it was like serving pizza before pizza even existed. And the star of the show, an oscilloscope. The same thing that scientists used to draw squiggly lines on back in the day was now pumping out pixelated tennis action. Two players, each with a controller that looked more like a radio dial, facing off in a tennis match that was like Pong's great-grandparent. A blip on the screen represented the ball, and players had to twist their dials to hit the ball back and forth. Simple? You bet. Mind-blowing? Absolutely! I mean, this was 1958. Tennis for Two wasn't just a game. It was the start of a revolution. People lined up, their eyes wider than flying saucers, to get a glimpse of this electronic marvel. We're about to dive into the wonderful world of space war. Picture this. It's 1962, and computers are like colossal, room-devouring beasts. 
MIT brainiac Steve Russell and his merry band of code conjurers decided, hey, why not make a game out of this? So they whipped up Space War on a snazzy machine called the PDP-1. Now this bad boy had less memory than your grandma's flip phone and processing power that's basically a glorified calculator. But they were like, challenge accepted. Space War was essentially a cosmic showdown between two pixelated spaceships in a star-studded brawl. They waltzed around the screen that looked like um, nothing really. It was all black except for a few dots that represented the ships and a gravity-tugging star that just couldn't stop meddling in their affairs. The controls were more fun than a barrel of space monkeys. Players could thrust, twirl, and torpedo their way to glory while dodging the clutches of the over-enthusiastic star. The aim? Blast your buddy to smithereens without becoming a crispy critter in a star's warm embrace. So remember, stay away from the star in the center. Now, these graphics were more basic than a stick figure on a post-it note, but guess what? This was cutting edge back in 1962. Last but not least on our list is a game that everybody should know. In the vibrant realm of video game history, a true trailblazer emerged in 1972 under the catchy name Pong. A couple of creative minds named Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney, the masterminds behind Atari, decided to dive headfirst into the world of pixels and circuits. So what did they come up with? A little wonder known as Pong. Now hold your horses, because this wasn't just any game. It earned the crown of being the first big shot video game to hit the commercial big leagues. People went absolutely bonkers for it. The clunky arcades at the time were suddenly transformed into frenzied arenas of bouncing pixels. Pong wasn't just a game, it was an experience. A sensation that left everyone wanting more. And the magic didn't stop there, my friends. Pong kicked off something truly special. It was like flicking the switch on the video game industry's rocket ship. This game set the stage for the pixelated wonders that would follow, sparking an era of gaming growth and innovation. So next time you're enjoying a modern masterpiece on your PS5 or Xbox One X or battling foes in an online world, just remember, back in 72, two visionaries named Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney were the pioneers who started it all with the revolutionary bounce of a virtual ball. So to wrap things up, I just want to say that these games, although basic by today's standards, played a crucial role in establishing the concept of interactive electronic entertainment and they paved the way for the development of more complex and sophisticated video games in the years to come. Alright gang, once again, I'm your host Sergio's here. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the first influential video games that helped shape our favorite pastime. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for similar content. By the way, what was the first game you ever played? Don't forget to let me know in the comments. Thanks for stopping by, and see you next time friend.